Hello everybody, my name is Ashley Merkel and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play hide and fetch. And before we start off, I'd like to explain what that is. Let's go! So hide and fetch is basically a spinoff of regular fetch with your dog, but instead you're going to throw the ball and run. And hopefully your dog gets it along too. I know my guy Brody is great at it. He loves it. It's a ton of fun. Let me show you what you're going to need. First, you're going to acquire that furry friend of yours, sidekick buddy. Any dog of any breed, shape or size should be able to take part in this game and enjoy it. The next thing you're going to need is some tennis balls or any balls that your dogs like to play with. I got these two at TJ Maxx for a great deal of $5 for six of them. And then this other guy I got at Murdoch's. It's a lot larger. If your dog has a lot of fun chewing up them, then I suggest getting a bigger one because then they, you don't have to worry about them ripping it apart or anything. These guys are just fun for temporary play such as this. That way I don't have to worry about them getting chewed up. And another reason why this game is so much fun is because if your dog is anything like mine, he doesn't like to bring it back unless I have food. So this is a little opposite counter effect that works great for it because since he doesn't like to bring the ball back, I get his attention by running away. So let's get started. All right, to get little man into the game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the ball to get his attention and then I'm going to throw it. And then what you're going to need is an exit strategy. I'm going to go through this little gateway right here and then I'm going to hide next on the left side of the house. So, of course, it's going to look a little something like this. So I have the ball in hand. I got this guy right here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it. So we're gonna throw it, run immediately, with being as quiet as you can, and you're gonna hide. So as you can see, I'm hiding, and here he comes! And of course, you're gonna wanna make sure you have multiple hiding spots, because if your dog is anything like my guy over here, he's gonna be able to find you pretty quickly and he's smart too so whenever I hide in regular places he'll go and check those places out to see if I'm there so to make the game a little extra fun you're gonna want to make sure to find new hiding spots almost each time or at least until I get the hold of the game and for this time I'm going to hide on the opposite side of my house and as you can see I am hiding and he found me immediately so that's pretty much the end of this tutorial for fetch and play. But if your dog has any issues with coming after you, a little tip that you could do is carry some dog treats, just a couple in your hand, just so that way he knows that you have it. And so he'll be sure to come find you afterwards. The treats that I got, I got them at Petco. A customer that I saw there actually suggested them to me and they are absolutely great for training dogs. Thank you guys for watching and feel free to come back for more tutorials. Bye! Dun, 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 dun.